we're at the western limit of Southwest Gardens in Pasadena, California, where Yvonne Savio is showing us how to use some common leftover things in the garden. Yvonne, what are you doing right now? Hi, Curtis. Well, right now I'm putting on some hand lotion. And before you go to the garden? Before I go to the garden. The soil in the garden is so dry that I put on lots of hand lotion, put my gloves on, then at the end of the day, when I'm all done, I have perfect hands. But you've got some other things here that include some leftovers, don't you? I sure do. First of all, this bucket that I can get at any hardware store, it's the perfect fit, and it really handles just about anything I want to take up to the garden with me. Okay. Let's go over to this orange tree, and I'll show you a fresh-picked way to germinate new seeds. Ah, uh, the orange tree. You're going to reuse the orange tree? Well, I'm going to reuse <laughs> an orange. You pick it. You cut it in half. You eat it. Okay. And then you fill it with a little potting mix. It's huh. a very small spot, but it's like a little cell. You made a flower pot. But you just put one little seed right in there. Mm -hmm. And just set this down, water it. When it sprouts, you know you're set. And then you plant the whole piece. You don't have to take it out of the pot. You plant this pot. The whole thing. And the rind will just decompose. Mm -hmm. And the roots will come straight through out into the garden. Do you have any more tricks for us down this way? Sure. Let's go. Yvonne, I remember my old red wagon. And now you're using the wagon in the garden. Well, you know, Curtis, I never had one as a kid. I was really <laughs> deprived. So my husband was kind enough to get it for me, mm -hmm. and I use it for gardening. Okay. And another thing I use is all these millions of cherry tomato or strawberry containers that you get. Everybody you, wonders what to do with those things. Well, there's two things that I've figured out you can do. With a paper towel, just fill it with potting mix. Put some seeds into it. That's how you keep the soil in the basket. Right. Okay. And you plant the seeds in mm -hmm. there. And then, when they've grown, these are squash mm -hmm. that I'll plant in the garden over there. Okay. But the neat thing about it is things like squash, the paper towel will disintegrate, mm -hmm. and the roots will come out here. So you plant the whole basket. The other thing you can do is when you've got your little seedling in the mm -hmm. soil already, you put this on it, especially corn. It's very tender and succulent, so the birds come and ah. munch it away. And this keeps it so that by the time it finally come, is tall enough to come up out of here, it's not as succulent anymore, so the birds don't pay much attention. That's a really great tip. What surprises do you have waiting for us around the corner? Here? Oh, lots more. Let's go see. We have some ways of saving things, but enabling a lot of good watering in your garden. Mm -hmm. Cut off the bottom of the bin, mm -hmm. then you have two pieces. The first one, without these holes in it, you can go ahead and use just as another planter to start seedlings. Mm -hmm. But if you cut the center out and cut this one opening out to one of the sides, you can use that on your tomatoes to keep the cutworms ah, okay. foiled. For a lot of gardeners, that'd be a real handy thing to yes. do with something otherwise they'd have thrown away. Exactly. And I'm puzzled, why do you have these black pots buried in the garden? Well, let me show you over here. Okay. Okay, what we got here is that same container. Mm -hmm. We've got the trellis around it. And I've put compost or manure, a shovel full. So when you water inside. it, you make manure tea or compost tea? Exactly. Automatically, every time. Now, there's two ways of planting around here. Mm -hmm. You can either seed the whole area, or what I like to do is two kinds of planting all at once. I will plant a seedling, and I usually do three around each container, nicely spread out. Mm -hmm. And I always split the base here. Good, that helps those roots to spread out. If you don't do that, they'll just stay confined. Exactly, they'll, be, they'll stay in their own container. So plant that in, and then take a couple of seeds, and that's what you plant in between. So you've used your space here really efficiently, just like you're using those things normally you'd throw away. That's right, and you have great fun in the garden. Yvonne, thanks for showing us how to recycle in the garden. You're welcome. <laughs>